Alright guys, and we're live. I think. Are we live? Yeah. Um, Are we full widescreen as well? Who knows. Um, but I'm going to shrink way down to there. Because last time I was... Or well, if we shift up, maybe we'll get our face in this time. Because last time I was cut out and we did it at a subway. Um, and last time that was in Gillette. Yeah. Which was also the last headwind that we've had. I mean tailwind that we've had. Because um, it was headwinds again today. We're saying it literally has been two days. It's been the day to Bozeman, where we flew and did like 20 miles an hour from Helena, and it was the day to Gillette, where we also like flew up and down those hills, made the hills so much easier, and it makes such a difference because that 100 mile day that we did in the afternoon in like six hours or less than, and that 110 miles that we did um, from wherever we stayed. Who was it with the Alex and Taylor? City, City. City, yeah, from Sioux City to Sioux Falls, that took nine and a half hours door to door. So, Sioux City to the last night. Oh, yeah, Sioux City to Carroll, nine and a half hours, which just like shows the difference between a headwind and tailwind and what that can make. Um, I've got my pop tarts, so we're all set up to vlog for today, and we'll pick you up where we left off, which was yesterday at Vaughn's house. Mm -hmm. Oh, so much stuff since then. It's been a really cool day, like. Everything, everything has happened. We, because Von, oh bless me, so sweet. He literally like left us. He's like, oh, I'll give you some space. I'll give you some space. like in his own house and um, to do the vlog, which was lovely. And we then went out to this barbecue, um, and which you know we were total like plus ones for. Had no idea who was there, or whatever. Um, and it turned out it was like uh, this thing hosted by this guy called Bill and um, Chris and. Um, there's this guy called Corey singing there and it was quite a nice vibe like all kind of older folk and like they were loving it we were loving it they were passing the fire all around and we had a couple of beers and it was yeah it was good fun they had a buffet out as well so we loaded up on pasta finally getting some good carbs in there and had some sloppy joe as well um, and yeah it was a really chill time they were, the people there were lovely talked to some guy about like 23 and me which they did which is like a DNA test and turns out, you know, they were from, they saw like that Anster Street from England, so that was a lot of fun to talk about. And all Vaughn's friends were really nice. Um, and then we'll like skip you through the boring parts of the evening, but towards the end, um, Corey, the singer, was just like made the most amazing gesture and put all his tips for the evening um, towards Crisis, which is the charity we're raising money for. Um, if you didn't know already, link in the description. Um, but that was, oh, it was just incredible. And he, I like completely impromptu, we were just like telling people about the trip that we were doing. Um, no, obviously not asking for money at all. And he just like did that out of his own generosity. Um, and the people there at this barbecue um, with um, uh, Corey managed to raise $138. Um, and it, it wasn't like a massive barbecue either. It wasn't like 20 people maybe tops. And um, so incredibly generous of them. Like really, really cool to be um, to see that and it brings us to 96% of our total we're what like $50 uh, no about 100 away now, yeah. yeah about 100 away which is like from our total which is crazy because we still have over 10 days left of the trip um, so we're so so chuffed to um, be, uh, be raising so much for, uh, for an awesome charity and yeah thank you so much for Vaughn for bringing us along um, and just an awesome evening, a lot of fun, a lot of people dancing, um, despite James' refusal to twist for the Instagram video. And um, yeah, really enjoyed it. And we went back, and luckily Vom was up for an early night as well. Um, so we headed in after that and got to sleep for around like 10 30. 10 30, yeah. yeah. Um, up for 6 30 again, as usual, and um, had again like. Von like doesn't buy cereal, but got cereal in for us. Had a load of all bran, had so much all bran. I think I have had enough fibre in that breakfast to last me a lifetime. Um, and so it all set for the day ahead, some yogurt and some fruit as well, which is amazing. And um, Von, thanks to Von, like he set us off on the right path, which was amazing because there was a river. Um, there's a river crossing which we would have taken on Raccoon uh, River Valley Trail. Um, which we didn't end up taking because he knew that it was um, flooded uh, from the recent storms, um, which was really cool. But anyway, we got to Jefferson and it turns out Vaughn drove literally right by us. Um, and it was like headwinds again. We were going due east and like wind straight into us and it was really, really rough going. Mm. Um, but we, Vaughn drove by us and it was awesome. And we actually ended up meeting him for breakfast 
Um, well, for second breakfast. Second breakfast. <laughs> yeah, high um, Which again, he treats us to, which is ridiculous. Like, tries to go up and pay for it, and the way he said, no, 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 he want, he going to take care of it, and um, which was like amazing because he was like, working down there and. Um, so he treated us to pancakes and sausages, which was lovely. Um, and we went to see the Jefferson Parade as well, which was for this bell tower, which some bachelor built. Um, apparently no one wants it, but now they have a parade for it every year. Um, and it's really cool, really colourful, sunny, we were loving it. And so we spent, we spent ages there. We um, braked at about 10.20, um, having set off at about 8.20, and ended up only leaving there at like... One. Called, yeah, one. Yeah, which was... Um, uh, really cool because we went down to the parade and because Vaughn works with radio with all those ag reports and stuff he had connections and he managed to get us live on air um, with Raccoon Valley Radio um, who have an app KG, KGRA if you want to go check them out um, and they got us on air so we got to talk a bit about our trip a bit about crisis um, and, and obviously everyone was tuned in because it was this uh, big parade so that was incredible we made the radio like 30 miles into this trip um, so it got some publicity and the first time I've ever been um, on air. And then we set off again to... <laughs> kid is bouncing cookies on his head over there. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we set off again to uh, Jamaica. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Through Jamaica. Yeah, through Jamaica. So this was where... Um, Matt came and helped as well, called up a friend, uh, Von met a friend in Hybees, and so set us on basically a slight detour, which meant that we ended up joining this trail um, a lot later. And also, the other thing is, we probably wouldn't have taken the trail if we'd just been staying by ourselves, because we hate like trails and all gravel paths and stuff. This was concrete, lovely, through like um, the shade of the trees, it was just a lovely time. Uh, like, Oh, it was so nice, and because it, it was still like a headwind, but it was all completely. Sh most of it was like sheltered because of all the all the trees and stuff. Um, so, and it was all concrete. It's just a really smooth ride, albeit like um, <laughs> delayed by this Jefferson trip. But we're in no hurry because our host said they're having this um, party until seven thirty, so we're only actually allowed um, in at that time. So, uh, yeah, carried on going um, through this trail, um, and it was gorgeous. Like the colours were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and the um, like the birds, like yellow, like reds, and everything. It was just really, really gorgeous. And then we saw, came across this field where a bit of dust was being kicked oh, up. Yeah, yeah. And what do you want to say? <laughs> uh, it's sort of a baby, baby hurricane. <laughs> it was a huge hurricane. We were worried for our lives. I mean, tornado, not hurricane. But uh, yeah, we were. We, were, um, we dove into a ditch. Everyone was taking cover. Trees were coming out by the roots. Um, <laughs> it was a, uh, yeah, it was a little winding. Time game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of cool. It was, um, yeah. And, yeah, so, no, we weren't worried for our lives, and, but it was quite cool to see. And, yeah, carried on. And then as well, um, carried on a little bit further on our way, because we stopped for lunch in somewhere called Perry. Um, but just before that, we were going along, or maybe just after, can't remember, but there was, um, we saw some smoke in the distance. That's we like, after, yeah. Yeah, we were like, was it a wildfire? But it turned out we went by. Um, and it wasn't a wildfire. Yeah. <laughs> it was a uh, house on fire. Really, you just it. So I saw it way off. Monday was a wildfire. I got close to sort of in the city, and it wasn't. Mm. And there were fire trucks parked outside, and people watching. And it was a perfect rectangle where this house had burnt to the ground. Mm -hmm. It stank as well. Yeah, it literally, horrible. there was about that much of the house left, it was just like smouldering away. And they're just watching it burn. Literally, a deck chairs out, just sitting there. Um, so that was kind of weird. Didn't know the story behind that. Didn't know if that was like cool or if that was tragic. Like, tragic. Yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, bizarre because it was like so controlled. None of the area around. I, the firefighters must have done a good job controlling it, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was really weird. Um, but anyway, we stopped in Perry's for lunch, um, and we stopped outside this ice cream. <laughs> He's laughing, right? <laughs> so we're really distracted by this kid. Um, but we. We stopped some berries outside this ice cream shop in the shade, um, had our sandwiches, um, uh, you know, the drill, and we went inside for ice cream. They were lovely. Had I had some almond thing and this mint thing as well, which was refreshing. You had their... Oh, yeah. yeah, Frio's was what the space school made of their own special ice cream. And James wrote it up on the whiteboard, um, our little Instagram handle, and uh, to go follow us, which was cool. Um, and yeah, that was pretty rapid. No point staying around. It um, left there at about 2.30. Yeah. And um, carried on on our way to 
into Des Moines. Again, this trail literally took us all the way there. It took us out at, what was, what was the town called this school? Clyde. Clyde, yeah. Um, it <coughs> took us along the highway there, which was a bit rubbish because we had to wait for so many like pedestrian streetlights. Um, but eventually made our way down um, and it was just gorgeous. It was like this just winding trail for like four miles by this river, um, literally back and forth. And it was so much fun to ride on. Um, and there was like this creek alongside and it was all completely shaded, um, really gorgeous, like stony and um, oh, yeah, lovely. And it, the path itself was just like tarmac, so it was um, completely smooth. Um, and yeah, we've rolled in, uh, rolled in here to West Des Moines. So we've got a, a fair bit further to do tomorrow. And door to door, having left it about 8.40, was it? Yeah, around half eight. We've lost James again <laughs> um, and um, came in here at about what time did we arrive here? 4.30. Yeah, so that's like eight hour day, which isn't bad considering our huge stop and it's been like 85, 85 miles or so. Um, so yeah, pretty chill day, um, no need to rush, so that was lovely. Um, stocked up on lunch, uh, phones propped up against our loaf of bread and managed to fit in a couple of episodes of Lucifer as well. Uh, so we're all chilled out, ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a bigger day though because we've got to cycle through the whole of Des Moines. Um, and we're actually cycling, uh, we're actually cycling, rest, uh, staying in a tent tonight, which is going to be cool because they put up a tent for us which is, and apparently they've got matches and everything, it's a big family size one. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. I don't know if there's a, oh yeah, awesome. Okay, all the sweaty grim stuff. Um, we forget, like just like update you on like how we're feeling during the cycle and um, what it's like. It's weird because we're cycling through some really really intense heat. That's the only thing that was like when we were stopping for the break. We we're like, oh, shall we stop? Shall we? Because it would mean that we'd have to cycle through um, in the heat of the day, which is actually you don't realize going out in the morning, but then it suddenly will hit you around twelve o'clock. Um, and especially is when you go outside and you're not sweaty because you realize suddenly how hot the sun actually is. Whereas once you like. Um, start cycling and start working out it becomes all like it's pretty grim it's pretty grim going but you're you're not as hot as you could be if you like just started which is kind of weird um, and, and the wind mainly the cool yeah yeah and the wind is true um, yeah and also like my um, update on all the like aches and pains like feeling all feeling all right yeah but um, like my hands are starting even through the gloves while the padding wearing away but like right here on the palm of my hand is like um, kind of hardened up and it was a bit tender at one stage. Um, but yeah, just from like the constant pressure, because I always need, no matter if I'm in my drops or <laughs> at, at the top, um, that's where all the pressure is. So that's probably like the most painful now. But aside from that, feeling good. Today is pretty straightforward. Um, we did get overtaken though for the first time along this bike trail and we saw a load of bikes as well they all love this raccoon river valley trail um and so that that stung the pride a bit but we we said oh it's fine we're wearing we're wearing saddlebags so it's cool we've got an excuse and also this guy was on a fresh bike and he looked really keen really uh, like fitting up for it um so yeah aside from that not a lot to report i don't think not unless you can remember anything no. but yeah um and yeah, again, thank you so much, Vaughn. Um, you're amazing. He's planning to do um, some trips like this soon. So if you ever come across Von Kesselson, then um, show him some love because he's great. He's a great guy. And yeah, we'll update you on tomorrow, which, should, which will probably end up being more like 120 miles um, in our next vlog. And we, should, we will hit um, 2,000 miles as well tomorrow morning. It's day 20, haven't quite hit it because today was a shorter day, um, being out on the west side of Des Moines. Um, so yeah, big 2,000 milestone, uh, 2,000 milestone landmark tomorrow to hit as well, which is exciting. So yeah, see you then.